All right, let's see. I have my capacitor bank. It's four 30 microfarad, 360 volt caps, just for your regular, they're run caps. They're not start caps. Uh, this half right here from this wire nut, these two are hooked together to one side of a 230 breaker, giving me 115 volts. This side over here is the exact same way. It's hooked to the other side, giving me 115. So between these two wire nuts, I could get 230. The back is actually wired in parallel. That wire right there, that black one, right here, follow it all the way to the neutral bar. And then the other two wires coming off of the capacitors run down and come up right here and tie directly into my 230 volt breaker. All right. Right now my, I'm clamping one side because I can't really get to my other one. I'm gonna have to redo some stuff. But uh, my air conditioner's running. A few other things are running. So that's real time amp draw right there. 17.1 or so. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. All right. Must have had something kick out. All right, well, it's 16.3. Now it's down to 15.7. Sometimes, depending on what's running, I actually get a bigger drop than that. Uh, I know that if you run electric heaters, you won't be able to get a drop hardly at all. But anything that runs off of a motor like fans and air conditioner compressors refrigerator compressors your your dryer motor not your dryer heat and did you actually see an amp a lesser amp draw all right it's running right now I'm gonna turn it back off 16 four.